The fiber channel electrical interface is one of two related standards that can be used to physically interconnect computer devices. The other standard is a fiber channel optical interface, which is not covered in this article. Topic: <laughs> Fiber channel signal characteristics. Fiber channel electrical signals are sent over a duplex differential interface. This usually consists of twisted pair cables with a nominal impedance of 75 ohms single-ended or 150 ohms differential. This is a genuine differential signaling system so no ground reference is carried through the cable, except for the shield. Signaling is AC coupled, with the series capacitors located at the transmitter end of the link. The definition of the fiber channel signaling voltage is complex. I diagrams are defined for both the transmitter and receiver. There are many I diagram parameters which must all be met to be compliant with the standard. In simple terms, the transmitter circuit must output a signal with a minimum of 600 mV peak to peak differential, maximum 2000 mV peak to peak differential. A good signal looks rather like a sine wave with a fundamental frequency of half the data rate, so 1 GHz for a typical system running at 2 gigabits per second. The bit error rate burr objective for fiber channel systems is 1 in 1012, 1 bit in 1 trillion bits. At 2 gigabits per second this equates to 7 errors per hour. Therefore, this is a common event and the receiver circuitry must contain error handling logic. In order to achieve such a low error rate, jitter budgets are defined for the transmitter and cables. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Fiber channel connector pinouts. There are various fiber channel connectors in use in the computer industry. Details of their pinouts are distributed between different official documents. The following sections describe the most common fiber channel pinouts with some comments about the purpose of their electrical signals. The most familiar fiber channel connectors are cable connectors, used for interconnects between initiators and targets, usually disk enclosures. There are also device connectors that can be found on fiber channel disk drives and backplanes of enclosures. The device connectors include pins for power and for setting disk options. Topic 9 pin D9 cable connector. Optional pins 2, 3, 7 and 8 are intended for use with an external optical converter. This is often called a media interface assembly MIA. Fiber channel D9 connectors often have only the four required contacts installed. Note that they are the four outermost contacts i.e. the same as used for token ring. This is an easy way to tell a fiber channel cable from an minus 232 rupees cable. Topic 8 pin HSSDC Cable connector, high-speed serial data connection. Optional pins 2, 4, 5, and 7 are intended for use with an external optical converter. This is often called a media interface assembly (MIA). Topic: 7 pin HSSDC2. Cable connector, high-speed serial data connection. Topic: <laughs> 40 pin SCA2 disk connector. Although SCA2 is the official name for this connector, it is often called SCA40 to distinguish it by its pin count from other similar connectors. Topic. Disk options 
Some of the input signals to a fiber channel disk are used to control options, as follows. Start options – If all the disks in an enclosure spin up immediately on power on, this can overload the power supply. Two methods are available to avoid that problem. DEVCTRL options – A disk that has the wrong interface speed can cause serious problems if it is inserted into an enclosure. That problem is avoided by providing three input pins to the disk that define the interface speed at which it will operate. Topic. External links Fiber channel physical interface specification Pictures of parallel SCSI connectors Pictures of SSA connectors Pictures of FCL connectors Pictures of SAS connectors <laughs>